All right, what's on the bench today? I have a new scope probe. Uh, I purchased a scope probe. I've been wanting one of these ever since I, uh, I got the, uh, the HD3. Um, and I finally found one for a reasonable price and then I gave the guy an offer and he took it. So uh, if you don't know what these are, uh, it is an active probe. Uh, this one is model number N2795A active probe. It is a one gigahertz probe, um, but it has a FET front end. So it's not just resistors. It actually has an amplifier in the, uh, in the probe itself. Now, um, I did a bunch of videos on other FET probes. I'll try to link them down below. I have uh, a DIY one, and I've got two Tektronix ones of different vintages. But I've never been at a place where I could get one of these. So what's so special about this? Well, it's, it's the uh, connector on the oscilloscope thing. You can see there's a whole bunch of pogo pins on the, uh, on the uh, probe and on the uh, connector underneath it, a whole bunch of pads. And so it can supply power and communication to the probe. So when you plug this in, it powers up the probe and it can talk to the probe. Um, and so the amplifier and stuff in here, there'll, there'll be power supply circuitry in here. The amplifier will be up front. There's probably some drive electronics in here and, th and things. Anyway, these are multiple thousands of dollars to get one of these things. Um, I want to thank my Patreon, uh, patron supporters. Let me, lets me buy toys and stuff for the channel so I can show you guys this stuff. Um, I was able, I made the guy an offer for $382. <laughs> uh, so that, I think that's a really reasonable cost. These things generally go for five, $600 on the used market. Um, they kind of, a, they kind of have a strange shape. They don't look like a normal, a normal probe. Okay. And we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. Uh, strangely enough, the probe was right here in Santa Clara, right next, <laughs> I could have driven over and gotten free shipping on it, but I didn't feel like going there. So I paid $12 to get it to my door and got here in like two days, which was really nice. Anyway, um, when you buy this probe, it comes with a bunch of accessories that obviously this didn't, this didn't come with, but the accessories are pretty brain dead and we can just make them ourselves. So I spent this afternoon making a whole bunch of uh, adapters and stuff for the, uh, for the probe. Now, how does the probe work? You say, well, it doesn't, it doesn't look normal. There's a, there's a tiny little connector here, like a, uh, uh, an IC socket. So there's a round pin socket here and there's a round pin socket here. So let's see, what's a good one, a good one here. This is the most self-explanatory one, okay? We have, uh, we have uh, a signal and ground, okay? And then we have two uh, pins on the other ends, okay? And this pin will go into that socket. And this pin will go into that socket. And they have, kind of have to go together. So they kind of, one goes before the other. There we go. All right. And yes, this is this is the way it works. It's kind of eh, it's kind of strange. It's not the greatest system, but that's what it is. And if you take a look at the probes that come with this, they look just like this. Okay, so we have a ground lead and we have a uh, a signal lead, and uh, this will ruin the bandwidth of the probe because you're adding some inductance and stuff to it. But uh, it will still be a low load on your on your uh, circuit. I'm, I'm going to do a, sec a video after this one. I'll show you a loading on circuits. All right. So that's that's one uh, uh, connection. All right. Uh, another way to connect it would be uh, I built this one, which well, I don't need to plug it in. This one just has two uh, sockets. So you can find test points on your PC board. You can plug that on. OK. All right. Um, I made this one, which allows me to, uh, uh, go to SMA. All right. 
with a, with a fairly short leash on it. And then uh, these are more interesting, okay? Let's, uh, let's pop a couple of these on. Let's, let's put these two on here. All right, so what are these two? Well, this gives you kind of like that little spring contact you put on your probe. It gives you a, uh, that one's a little long. Uh, it gives you a, there we go. It gives you a ground contact. And then this is a pogo pin, all right? So you can go over to your circuit and you can find a ground and signal and you can probe it like that and have a short, a short inductance on it. So, uh, so that's one. I have several different grounds, straight and bent and stuff. Uh, I have a, this pogo pin and I have another, another pogo pin that has a teeny tiny little, uh, teeny tiny little uh, point on it. So these are nice to just probe on, on circuits with. And then uh, a couple clips and stuff. Anyway, so that's my that's all the accessories that uh, I now have for for this thing. Now it has one more trick up its sleeve. So let's go ahead and turn on my scope while I'm talking. Um, and that is these two round things here. And you might wonder what what the heck are those things, right? So let's go ahead and uh, we will connect it. Now it has a little lever on it. You have to pull the lever over put it on the scope and then let go of the lever. And now it's, now it's attached to the scope. All right. And then we can come back down to the probe. All right. The scope has booted and they're LEDs. <laughs> Isn't that cool? So as you're probing, let's, here, let's put a pogo pin on here. Um, so as you're probing the circuits and uh, your room is dark, <laughs> you can't see what you're doing. Oh, look at that. I can now, uh, I can now find my circuit. <laughs> Oop, turn my lights back on. Anyway, uh, yeah, if you're in the deep crevices of your, of your project, you got the little, you got the little uh, headlights on it, right? And there's a little button on the side, uh, right there. If you hold down that button, it turns, it turns them off. All right. So that's kind of a cool, <laughs> cool, strange feature on this thing. It is a, it is kind of a weird looking probe. And I uh, hope this thing never breaks because it is all just molded. There's no way to take this apart. It is completely molded as one piece. I don't think you could ever rework one of these. So I'm pleasantly happy that this one works. It was, it, list, it was listed as working. And uh, you look on the scope there and I touch the, uh, touch the probe. Can you see that in camera and uh, touch the probe? You see, we're getting a signal. You were getting a signal out there. All the way to, uh, let's see here. Oops. There we go. All the way too big. Uh, and there we go. Yeah. Anyway, you get the idea. Um, so, new acquisition. This will come in real handy some days. Um, I'm kind of getting ready for a particular video later, later in the year. And I'm going to need, I'm going to need a probe like this. So, uh, I got it while the getting was, getting was good. Uh, active probe. <laughs>